perimeter and area in this chapter we are going to learn about perimeter and area in the previous chapter basic geometrical shapes we learned about some basic geometrical shapes there we learned the region occupied by them and their boundaries if we take any closed figure the closed figure has got a boundary to measure or to compare their sizes we need some measures those are the perimeter and area which help us to measure a closed figure first let us understand what is perimeter so let us take a closed figure here there is a park so this is a park and this park has got a boundary wall so there is a boy who is running around the park so the boy started at a point A and he traveled along the boundary of the park and finally he reached the same point A. Now the distance traveled or the distance covered by the boy is called perimeter. We call the total length he traveled around this boundary is called the perimeter of a circular path. This is a circular path. Sometimes this can be a rectangular shape or it can be of triangular shape whatever the shape may be starting at one point and traveling along with its boundary to the same point again so the distance covered throughout this travel is called the perimeter of that closed figure so it can be in triangular shape or in rectangular shape or whatever the shape may be so we can say that the perimeter is the distance traveled along the boundary of a closed figure for one time. So here the boy, he traveled along the boundary of the closed figure. He traveled along the boundary that forms the closed figure once. So the distance traveled is called the perimeter of that closed figure. Let us understand the perimeter with some examples. Here is a closed figure. So this closed figure, let us see the length of its sides. Here it has got 10 meters, 8 meters, 6 meters, 10 meters, 10 meters. So these are the lengths. Now somebody asks you what is the perimeter of this closed figure? So we know that the distance traveled along its boundary throughout the figure for one time. So we start at this point A and we travel the distance along the boundary forming this closed figure to the same point again. So this distance covered is the perimeter. So here we know the distance from here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here. So we are going to sum up the distance. 10 plus 8 plus 6 plus 10 plus 10. 1, 2, 3, 10, 30 plus 38, 44. So 44 meters is the perimeter of this closed figure. Perimeter of a rectangle. Now let us see how to find out the perimeter of a rectangle. Perimeter of a rectangle. Now let us see how to find out the perimeter of a a rectangle here is a rectangle perimeter of a rectangle equal to sum of all sides there are four sides so sum of all the four sides now what are the sides a b plus b c plus C D plus D A. So these are the four sides. Now we are writing in a different way A B plus B C plus C D. In place of C D we can write A B because C D is equal to 15 centimeters and even A B is also equal to 15 centimeters. So in place of C D we can write a B again in the same way D A 
DA is equal to 10 centimeters and this is equal to CB. So we can write that BC in place of DA because BC is 10 centimeters we can write BC in place of DA. So we got two ABs and two BCs. 2 into AB plus BC. Right? Now 2 into AB is equal to 15 centimeters plus BC is equal to 10 centimeters is equal to 2 into 25 is equal to 50. So, 50 centimeters is the perimeter of this given rectangle. Perimeter of a regular shape. A polygon is a simple closed plane figures bounded by line segments. So, this is a simple plane figure bounded by line segment. See the line segments. A polygon is said to be a regular polygon when all its sides are of equal length and all its angles are of equal measure then you call this polygon as a regular polygon see the regular three-sided polygon is an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle so why this is called a regular polygon it has got three sides all the three sides are of same length and at the same time their angles are also of same measure so a polygon having its sides of same length and having same angle measures is called a regular polygon in the same way here is a four-sided polygon which is having the same length of its sides and at the same time same angle measure this is called a square. Perimeter of a regular shape. Let us see how to find out the perimeter of a regular shape. Here we have a square. Square is a regular polygon. It has four sides and the length of all the four sides are equal and even the measures of angles are same. So here we have a square and the length of its side is A. So now the perimeter is equal to all sides A plus A plus A plus A, all the four sides. So now four A's, four into A, you can write four into A, four A. So the 4a is the perimeter of the square, perimeter of square Four a So the perimeter of the square, perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into any side, any side because all the sides will have a same value in case of a square. If A is 3, all sides 3. So 4 into 3. If A is 6, all sides 6. 4 into 6, it becomes the perimeter. So that here the simplest formula here for the perimeter of a square, 4 into A. A is the side of the square, any side. Because for a square, all the sides are of same length. Perimeter of an equilateral triangle. So we know equilateral triangle means equilateral triangle is a triangle having all the three sides of equal length and all the three angles of same value. So this is called as an equilateral triangle. Now see how to find out the perimeter of an equilateral triangle. Say for example the length of a side of an equilateral triangle is A. A, A. Because all the three sides must be of same value for an equilateral triangle. So now perimeter is equal to side plus side plus side. 
So what are the three sides? A plus A plus A. You can write into 3 into A. 3A. So A can be of any value. For example, the side is 2 centimeter. Here 3 into 2. 6 centimeter is the perimeter. So the perimeter of a equilateral triangle is equal to 3A. 3 into any side. Any side value. You can substitute. So by that you will get the perimeter of an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle is also a regular polygon. Now let us see how to find out the perimeter of other regular shapes. We have seen a regular a polygon, equilateral triangle and a square. How to find out their perimeters. Now let us see the other polygons. See if a polygon is having five sides and all the sides are of same length, we call it as a regular five sided polygon or we can call it as a regular pentagon. So the regular pentagon has got five sides and all the sides are having the same length. So for the perimeter of a five sided polygon, five into length of any side, any side we can take say a polygon. It has got five sides. Each is having five centimeter length. So to find out the perimeter, we are taking five into any side value because all the values are same. So we take five. 5 5 is 25 is the perimeter of this 5 sided polygon. In the same way 6 sided polygon. A 6 sided polygon is called an hexagon, regular hexagon. All the sides are of same length. So 6 into length of any side will be the perimeter of 6 sided polygon. In the same way 8 sided polygon, octagon. If all the sides are of same length, the perimeter will be 8 into length of any side. So length of any side into 8 because it has got 8 sides of equal length. So that becomes the perimeter of an 8 sided polygon. So in this way we can find out the perimeter of a regular polygon. Let us see an example. Find the side of the equilateral triangle whose perimeter is 54 centimeters. Here is a problem to solve. Now let us see how to solve this problem. So here we have an equilateral triangle of perimeter 54 centimeters. We don't know what is the length of a side. So to find out that, let us write the perimeter of an equilateral triangle is equal to, we know that 3 into A. So we write the simple formula 3 into A that is A is each side. So now 3 into A is equal to 54 centimeters. So we know what is the total perimeter. We don't know that side. So now the A becomes 54 by 3 centimeters. So 3 18 54. So A each side is equal to 18 centimeters. So here is 18, here is 18, here is 18. So if we add 18 plus 18 plus 18, we get 54. So this is tally. So it is verified there. Okay. So the perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 54. What is the length of each side? Here we found that length of each side is 18 centimeters. Area. What is area? The amount of surface occupied by a closed figure is known as area. The amount of surface occupied. So this is all the surface of the board and here this closed figure occupied some surface, this surface. So this is called area. When we compare the areas occupied by different figures, then we can find out the differences just by looking at them in case of these kind of pictures, like some regular shapes. See, if we see these uh, regular circles, we can easily find out which is bigger and which is smaller. That means 
whose area is big and whose area is less. So here we find out this figure occupied more area and this one occupied less area. We can discriminate it just by looking at it. In the same way here we have two squares. So which one is big? This is the big. It occupied more area. So this is having more area. The area of this square is high compared to this smaller one. But some cases, in some cases, even though they are the regular shapes, for a simple geometrical shapes, sometimes it may be difficult to tell which is a bigger and which is smaller when the difference is very slight. In that cases, for these kind of polygons, we have some formulas to find out the area. For polygons, even though if we fail to discriminate just by looking at them, which is bigger and which is smaller, we have some formulas to find out the areas. But whereas for some irregular shapes like this, here we have one shape here and we have another shape here. Now how can we say that which shape is bigger? Which one occupied more area? So let us see how to find out the area of such irregular shapes. We can find out the area of such irregular shapes using a graph paper. Take the shape and place it on a square paper or graph paper where every square measures 1 cm into 1 cm. Now make an outline of the figure. Look at the squares covered by the figure. Some of them are completely covered, some half, some less than half and some more than half. The completely covered squares can be shaded. We know that the area is the number of centimeter squares that are needed to cover the shape. Now the squares do not always fit exactly into the area we measure. Some fit completely, some are marginally covered and some are largely included in the shape. Now we get over this difficulty by adopting a convention. Now ignore the portions of the area that are less than half a square. If more than half of a square is in the region just count it as one square. If exactly half the square is counted take its area as half square unit. The area of one full square is taken as one square unit. If it is a centimeter square sheet, then the area of one full square will be a square centimeter. Such a convention gives a fair estimate of the desired area as the ignored ones balance with the incomplete ones included.